So let's start with fixed costs. Um, in order to use a power plant, you have to build it first. So um, you have to. We have the capital cost of building and financing a plant. Uh, so we have the cost of construction, which we often call the overnight cost. Uh, I don't know of any power plants we can build overnight, but. Um, <laughs> This is just one way we talk about the capital cost of constructing a plant. What is it? What do we have to pay to get the plant uh, built and on the ground? But then we have to think about the payment to the owners of capital because in order to build the plant, we have to borrow money from someone and they need a rate of return on their investment. And the payment to owners of capital is the interest rate that we the interest on the capital that we borrow to build the power plant for those for those overnight costs so again the interest rate is the payment to the owners of capital uh, to induce them to take their capital and invest it in our power plant rather than invest it in something else then we want to uh, we think about capital costs in terms of the amortized loan uh, the amortized amount over the term of the loan. So in order to pay back the loan, we're going to have to pay back both the initial capital that we borrowed and then the interest payment on the capital. And all that's going to be put together in one payment, which is um, the amortized loan amount. So we'll think about what we need to pay each month in order to uh, pay off the loan to build the power plant. So we're going to report our capital costs as a monthly cost. Uh, and that monthly cost, the, the key idea, the key thing to think about in terms of our fixed costs is that they are constant over the life of the plant. So we are going to be borrowing money, we're going to be paying back this loan over a long period of time, say 30 years, and every month we're going to have the same payment to make. So this payment's going to be constant over the entire 30 years we expect to operate the plant. There's another way we can think about the, the monthly cost of operating a plant. Uh, in theory, you could think about this as being the cost of renting a power plant. You go out on the market and you say, I need a power plant to generate electricity for the next month. What would it cost you to go out there and rent a power plant for a month? So in theory, the rental price of a capital asset is, uh, in the long run, is the same as its amortized loan amount. Because the amortized loan amount, remember, includes both paying back the capital and the rate of return that someone has to make to be willing to put that plan in place in the first place. Okay. So to calculate our fixed costs, we need to know three things. Uh, we need to know the overnight cost, the amount of the capital investment it takes to uh, get the capital, uh, the capital in place, so the, the plant um, uh, completed. Uh, we need to think about the term of the loan. That's how long is the, uh, how long is the loan going to last? So how long is this fixed stream of payments going to last? And uh, that can vary with the type of plant that's built. It can vary with the size of the capital investment. We're going to make some assumptions about the term of the loan. Um, but it's one thing we need to know before we can calculate that monthly payment. Uh, the last thing we need to know to calculate the monthly payment is the interest rate that we have to pay in order to get the investor to invest in our power plant. All right. Once we know those things, once we know the interest rate, the capital cost amount, and the term of the loan, it's a very simple matter to calculate the monthly payment. In fact, we can just go right to our spreadsheet and uh, plug those values into a payment function, and that payment function will, um, will calculate the monthly payment that would be required to pay back that loan with interest over the term of the contract. So uh, what we'll do is we'll find that, that payment calculator. We'll plug in the interest rate, the term in months, and the overnight cost. So let's do an example. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be using for, 
all of my examples, I'm going to have a sample baseload power plant. And this baseload power plant is going to be a fairly large 500 megawatt capacity power plant. So if it's running full out, it will generate 500 megawatts of power. Um, and the overnight cost we're going to assume for this plant is $320 million. Uh, we're just making up some numbers for our example here. The term of the loan is going to be pretty standard. We're going to have a 30-year contract for the financing of this power plant. 30-year uh, contracts are pretty standard for big capital investments like power plants, so a pretty reasonable assumption. And we're going to assume a 7% 7 interest rate. Uh, so the, inter the annual interest rate is 7%, and so now we have what we need. We plug those values into our payment function, and it returns a monthly payment of $2,129,000 a month. That includes both cap the paying the capital back and making the interest payments. Uh, and again, it's over the entire 30-year term of the loan. And it's worth emphasizing again, this payment is made whether you ever turn the plant on or not. This payment is made if you decide to retire the plant early. This payment is going to be required for the full 30-year term of the loan, no matter how much you decide to use the power plant. It's going to be that monthly check that goes out to pay down the loan every month. All right. So there are a number of ways we might report these capital costs, these fixed costs of getting the power plant built. And as I've already, uh, as I've already mentioned, one of the standard ways is just uh, the monthly payment we would make for the power plant. Uh, that's going to be the same check every month. And again, that is made whether we run the plant or not. But another thing we might be interested in knowing is um, what are those fixed costs per unit of electricity we generate. So one way of reporting the monthly cost is over as a matter of time, how much do I pay each unit of time. Another way of reporting the cost is how much I pay for each unit of output. How much do I pay in fixed costs for each unit of output. So we've already calculated the monthly payment for uh, amortizing the loan, which is a little over $2 million. Doesn't change, no matter how much is produced. Um, no matter what fraction of time the plant is running, um, even if the plant isn't open for business, even if the plant were shut down for some reason and you decided not to run it.